just doing my job. Wow. That is, it could be my job, if you like. Tiffany just stole Renee. You two have such a weird relationship. Tiffany's like my sparring partner. You're what? You know what, Colin? Go fish! Colin just broke off our engagement. I could make the cancellation calls. I mean, if you like. You transferred my wedding reservation into your name? That is low, Amber. Wedding's back on. Great. Fake friends, all they do is pretend. I'm a theatrical agent. I want to find an actor who can pretend to be Colin. I'm just brushing up on a couple of my audition monologues. Romeo and Juliet. Oh. You can't keep playing the young lover all your life. Nick, just need you to pretend to be my ex fiance so that my colleague Amber doesn't steal my wedding reservation. Oh, and he's from Cambridge, England. I'm in love. I would love to hear how you two met. Met? At a wine bar. She grabs me by the tie, leads me onto the dance floor, and that's how we met. He's a fake. We need to bring him along to a whole bunch of stuff. As of this afternoon, we're offering a new holy bespoke package. There's a tasting session today to pick the wedding cake. Just remember Colin plays the guitar? What if he serenades you at your wedding? Anthony, I need a favor. It was amazing of you guys to help like this. I don't think there's anyone in my life who would do that for me. I hate making personal stuff public. Oh, I wouldn't let you get away with that. I would sweep down under one knee, and I would extol your virtues at the top of my voice. What possible reason could you have for wanting to steal my wedding? You're not having a wedding. My parents passed away when I was little. Your wedding booking is their anniversary. You truly are selfish to the bone. This will be a lot easier to say as a voicemail. I think you're a really special guy. And I'm delighted to pronounce you husband and wife. I have never been happier to miss out on a talent signing. What was that? You're my client. I wouldn't be able to do this.